line in the song, the soldiers <coughs> who put him there, yeah. that drove the nails in his hands and beat him and spat on him and cursed him. Yeah. His prayer was, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Amen. And I just wonder today, how many of us in here today, praise God, or those out there watching through YouTube or on Facebook or whatever, if somebody was to slap you in the face, spit in your face, beat you like a dog physically, do to you what was done to Jesus, could you say, Father, please forgive them? Come on. They know not what they do. Yeah. But see, that's where the Lord wants us to be at tonight. Yeah. And I tell you, the greatest act of love is the cross. Amen. It may be, some say it's a bloody scene, it's a massacre. It's the greatest act of love ever portrayed Amen. for all mankind. Hallelujah. For yeah. that, we need to give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I know sometimes our physical bodies don't feel good. Sometimes we have things going on that makes us just not really think about it. But you know, our problems does not add up to nothing when compared to what he went through at Calvary. Come on. And I'll tell you tonight, I'm so honored that how he did it for me, he did it for you. Amen. Praise God that we could have that free gift that he promised, and that's eternal life through him. Yeah. He paid the debt of sin we could never pay. Brother Bill, we couldn't do it on our own. Amen. Amen. To God. No amount of money in this world could pay the debt of sin that we were all into. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, yeah. Yeah. but the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. Woo! Amen. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'll throw another one out there your way. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world Come on. that He gave His only begotten Son to whosoever. How many is a whosoever? Amen. Praise God. Believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now see, that's love right there. No greater love. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. No greater love than that. Praise God. Amen. Go with me tonight in your Bibles, please, to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Hallelujah. We talked a little bit last week about the spiritual gifts. And I'm kind of, I'm not going back into that, but I'm, I'm kind of, this is a, a kind of a continuation to the message, but in a different area. Amen to God. Because I tell you, there, there is just so much going on in the world today, and the answer for all of that is Jesus Christ, and He would tell us to love one another. Yeah. Pray for our enemies. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Pray for those who despitefully use us. Yeah. Pray for those that tend to do us wrong. Pray for those that that have evil intentions. Pray for those who are going to try to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. Take away, amen to God. Jesus, amen to God. You notice Jesus never said, go retaliate with violence. He yeah. said, but to love them. If one man strikes you on the cheek, give to him the other as well. Yeah. Amen. What he's saying is, praise God, don't stoop down to their level. Come on. Love them. Love them the way I love them, amen to God. And that's hard, amen to God. I tell you, Christians complicate things sometimes, amen. Come on. If we could look at it like children, that's why he tells us to be like children, amen. To love, amen to God. Because kids love, amen to God. If you say, do you love somebody? They'll say, hey, I love you. And you do you ever notice the child are always going to people? I love you, I love you, I love you. People <clears throat> they don't even know, amen. Come Hallelujah. On. But we've got to be like that too. We've got to show God's love through everything we do on a daily basis. Amen? Amen. No matter how good of a preacher we are, no matter how well we sing, no matter how well we can operate in the spiritual gifts, Come on. like I said a while ago, if you don't have charity or love, it's the same thing. Yeah. It profiteth nothing. Come on. My Lord, the message for the body of Christ today that we need to continue to preach. Amen? Amen. 1 Corinthians 13, beginning in verse 1, reading from a what? King James, King James Version. Version. Yeah. Is that alright if I read from King James here? You better. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah Amen. to the Lamb of God. I'll tell you, some of these versions are they're reading from nowadays, and I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I'll tell you, they get some confusing stuff out there. And, yeah. you know, it, it really is. i tell you, God is not the God of confusion. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. The Bible says, Though I speak with tongues... Of men and of angels that have not charity or love, yeah. I am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, 
And though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I'm nothing. Did you hear that? Yeah. My goodness. People operating in the gifts, if they don't love, it says they're nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Woo! I didn't write that. My, my, my. Come on. It's good. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor. Yeah. And though I give my body to be burned and have not charity or love. Anytime you see charity there, it means love. Amen. It profiteth me nothing. So see, there. I want to stop here for a second. There's people out here today in the name of Jesus doing things, but they've got the wrong motive. Amen? Amen. Now, the Lord knows your heart. He looks at your heart the way you do things. If you're going to go help somebody, He knows whether you're doing it because you're doing it to be either seen a man or doing it to get something, yeah. or you're doing it just to sincerely help them. Amen. See, we've got to get today, we've got to go... You know, we've got to be able to say, hey, I'll, if somebody says, go with me a mile, I'm going to go with you too. Come on. Praise God. If somebody needs a lift to church that lives maybe just a little bit out, we'll come and get you, amen, to God. It don't matter. Yeah. Because I want you to hear the Word of God. Amen. And that should be our thinking, amen, to God. We should not be, and I'll tell you, and I'm being honest here, praise God. I've said it before too. We should not be like, man, that's going to throw me out of my way. That's going to throw yeah. me off of my schedule and out of my path. How many of you have ever said that before? Amen? Come on. Man, if I go get them, Lord have mercy, I'm going to be five minutes late. Yeah. I've said that before. I've told the Lord before, hallelujah. Hurry up and get ready, amen, to go. We're going to be late, and I'm going to have to go 70 and 80. And she's like, don't you be going fast in that car, eh? amen? Amen. <laughs> hallelujah. It's the truth, though. Praise God. I get mad at her sometimes about that. And praise God, I always have to go back and say, I'm sorry. But I mean, you know, praise God, sometimes it doesn't hurt to get out of your routine of things. It yeah. doesn't hurt to go out of the box, if you will, color outside the lines. Because, praise God, Jesus is looking for people, praise God, that's going to be like He is. If you want to be like Jesus, well, if you will go the extra mile with Him, Amen. praise God, you will do above and beyond to help a brother. Come if on. a brother's crying, you will cry with them. If they're rejoicing, you will rejoice with them. Instead of getting mad when they get their miracle, amen, to God, and say, why didn't you give me mine, Lord? Come on. Amen. We've got to love one another, praise God. See, that's why, I know I'm going to get in trouble for this, you know, they always talk about, praise God, keeping the law, keeping the law. Jesus said, if you love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and body, I think, amen to God, something like that, and love your neighbor as yourself, on these hang the commandments, amen to God. Yeah. Them are the two greatest ones, praise God. So what he's saying is, love God and love one another, amen to God. Amen. And that's what we need to do. And praise God, it fulfills the law, amen to God. Yeah. Because when Jesus died at the cross, he fulfilled the law. Amen. You can read about that in Colossians, amen. I'll tell you, the, here a while back, <clears throat> I had a seven-day Adventist argue with me, Brother Mike. I'm telling you, you're wrong. We get to heaven, we've got to obey the Ten Commandments. Well, then, are you telling me we get to heaven, there's going to be sin there? Come on. No, he said all these things, yeah. the former things will be gone. There won't be no more death, no more crying, no more pain, no more sin. None of that stuff Come will on. be there because all things will become new, praise God. Jesus said in John 14, I go and prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be also. Amen. Amen to God. And I know if He's preparing a place for us, it's not going to be tarnished with sin, tarnished with any un, uh, unfilthy, un, un dirty thing. It's going to be, amen to God, perfect, good, pure, holy, amen to God. And that's what He's setting up for us. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. Praise God. So we've got to get in this mindset here before we get there. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. You got somebody said, well, Brother Mike, well, I'll, I'll, I'll be perfected in love when I get there. Well, He's trying to get you perfected in love here. Come on. Because you can't say, I love God and hate your brother. Woo. Amen. <clears throat> That preach, amen. Yeah. But we've got to love, seriously. I tell you, I know there's groups out there talking about love this, love that, and they got some truth to it to a point. Yeah. We've got to love one another, but we've got to do it God's way, amen. Amen. 
Because they'll take you off into some weird stuff about love, saying yeah. it's okay for men to be with men and women to be with women. Come and on. that's not God's original plan. God made man for woman, amen to God, and woman for man, praise amen. God. Amen. There can't be no reproduction with two men or Come two on. women. I know I'm getting deep here. Somebody dig me out. Glory to God. Come God on. did not make them that way, amen? Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Where was I at? Verse... Okay, verse 4. four. Hallelujah. Charity suffers long. Woo, glory. And is kind. My Lord. Come on. Mm. It goes the extra mile. Yeah. <clears throat> Praise God. I tell you, if there's one man that has suffered long, that's Brother Billy R. Douglas. Oh, my. With Brother Mike. <laughs> <Say amen. laughs> Come on, that shout, brother. Come on, I tell you, that's the best example hey, I can use. Amen brother. to God. I can preach Come that. Because I tell you, that brother, I'll text him all day and all Come night on. up till midnight. Come on. I'll text him at 5 o'clock in the morning. And to God. Even Sister Reese, Reese sometimes wants to beat me up. <laughs> Hallelujah. But it, it suffers a lot. It goes. You know, it, it continues to say, hey, I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to be there with you. Amen to God. Come on. Through amen. the good times and the bad. Amen. Yeah. And I appreciate Brother Billy, amen to God. I appreciate Brother Bill, all the, the Facebook posts he puts on there, praise God. Not only on mine, but just in general on his and on all of it out there. I appreciate the stuff Billy puts on there, Brother Bill, amen to God, because it's encouraging. I appreciate that, amen to God. It's not leading people astray. It's getting people, amen to God, telling them the truth, amen to God. And that's what we need more of, and they do it in love, amen. Come on. That's what we got to do. It says, it suffereth long and is kind. It envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself and is not puffed up. Yeah. Woo! Glory to God. My, my. Man, charity don't, <clears throat> don't make a show, amen yeah. to God. Don't, don't show yeah. off, yeah. amen yeah. to God. Usually, I tell you, praise God, charity or love, praise God, is always excited, praise God. Oh. I tell you that day, Brother Bill, when he got his heart blockage fixed, amen to God, about, what, about a year or so back, they fixed his heart because I knew he was having problems with it. Man, that old devil was fighting him left and right. And he got it fixed. Oh, it just made me rejoice inside. I didn't have no heart problems, but I rejoiced for Brother Bill because I know it's been the struggle for him. Oh. It's been holding him back from doing God's best, amen to God. I remember that time when Brother Billy had that tooth, amen to God, that just bothered him. Oh, I remember it hurt him so bad. I tell you, I rejoiced with him when he got it fixed, amen, or oh, the pool. Yeah. They pulled it, amen. amen. I rejoice for Brother Billy when that thing got out because I've had two things. I know they hurt, amen. amen. Come on. Woo, glory to God. I didn't get all puffed up in it, amen, to God and be like, well, glory to God. It ain't all about me or it ain't all about Him. Come on. It should be all about Jesus, amen. Amen. Woo, glory to God. It doth not behave itself unseemly. Yeah. It seeketh not her own and is not easily provoked and it thinketh no evil. Yeah. When you got the love of God flowing through your life, truly, correctly, your mind is not on people getting hurt, their feelings getting hurt, how you can tear them down, but your mind is clearly on people being blessed truly of the Lord. Amen. Seeing people be set free from their bondages. That's what we're in this thing for, is to see people set free, bondages broken, the lost get saved, amen to God, the lame at the gate brought in, amen. and receive the same love that all of us would have, amen? Come on. But the church don't do that anymore today. The church, amen to God, leaves them out there because they're not part of our social class. Come on. They don't wear name brand clothes, or they don't smell good, or they may, praise God, not live in a fancy home or drive a fancy car. Yeah. That's not love, amen to God. That's just selfishness. That's pride, hallelujah. That's all that stuff, praise God, that the Lord says don't do. Come on. But we really got to get this thing, we've got to start getting this thing in motion. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is coming back, and He's coming back for a church Come without on. spot or blemish, amen to God. Amen. He's coming back, excuse me, for yeah. a church that's loving one another, amen to God. Come on. He's coming back for a church not bickering and arguing about, praise God, who's right and who's wrong. Let God's Word be right and let every man be a liar, amen, amen. to God. I'll tell you, if we stand back on God's Word, get it back in the church today, get it back in the homes today, get it back in the schoolhouse, in the court system, in the White House, praise God, that would straighten up the mess in this world and get everything 
back to the way it's supposed to be, pointing people to Jesus and what He did at Calvary, showing people how to love one another. Praise God. Amen. And that's what we need to do. Take this B-I-B-L-E, praise God, and get it back where it needs to be. Come on. Because I tell you today, in most of our pulpits, they're not using the Bible anymore. Come on. They're, and I don't mean this to be rude, but they're using uh, Joel, Joel Osteen's book on how to be positive, or Robert Schuller's book on how to think positive, or that old Scientology garbage yeah. that's confusing people's minds, getting them all led astray. Come on. It's got a little bit of a message of love in it, but what it does is talking about having how you can be your own best self, how you can be, amen to God, better than everybody else because you're your own little God. If you ask Kenneth Copeland, he'll tell you that. Yes, sir. Amen. He'll say you're a little Jesus. Little yeah. Hallelujah. Walking around, you've got the same power Jesus does, so you're a little God. Come on. I tell you, that's not the way it's meant to be. That's not the way Jesus, when He walked on this earth 2,000 years ago in the form of a man with His disciples, that's not what He was teaching. Come on. That's not what He went to the temple teaching. He went in there to forgive. Forgive a man's sin. Show grace and mercy and love. Amen. And that's what we need more of today. Yeah. God knows we have a new doctrine every other day. We have a new denomination every other day. Come on, My yeah. God, I don't even realize, I don't even know, I'm going to research it out, how many different denominations there is, because I'll tell you, there's got to be hundreds if not thousands. Oh, there's thousands, yeah. How many doctrines there is. Come on. Oh, my. My Lord. I yeah. mean, there's so many doctrines, you can't even count them. Come on. But the one thing all those doctrines are lacking is love. Come on. Is love. You've never heard Jesus preach war. Come on. You never heard Jesus preach fighting. Yeah. All you heard him preach was love. Yeah. And that's what we need, church. Look at your neighbor and say, I love you. I love you. Look back at him and say, Do you love me? You love me? You better. Yeah, praise God. I like that what Brother Bill said. He said, You better. Yeah. You don't want to have to be like Jesus doing to Simon Peter, remember? Where he said, lovest thou me more than these? Yeah. What did he ask him, what, three times? Three times, Because yeah. Peter denied him three times? How would that feel to have the Lord say, do you love me? Yeah. Not once, but three times. When you say, Lord, you know, yes, I love you. Amen. Then say, do you really love me? I mean, honestly? Hmm. Come on. My goodness. You said, Brother Mike, this ain't one of those screaming messages. No, but it's something we need. All right, good work. Praise God. This sets the foundation for what I preached last week on spiritual gifts. Yeah. Because if we can get love working perfectly in here, praise God, not just in here, but in, in the body of Christ Come in on. general. If we can get love working perfectly, yeah. we can start operating back in the spiritual gifts. Start seeing, praise God, prof giving prophetic words and start, praise God, speaking in tongues and getting the interpretation of tongues. We can get all that back, but God. God is wanting us to be perfected in love. Come on. Amen? Yeah. Verse number 6. It rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Praise God for that. Hallelujah. Yeah. It beareth all things, it believeth all things, it hopeth all things, endureth all things. Hallelujah. Charity never faileth. Yeah. Lord, look at your neighbor and say, it never fails. Never, never fails. fails. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Yeah. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when, that which, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away with. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understand as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. I tell you, you don't do childish things anymore when you really are perfected in love. Come on. Praise God. And what I mean by that, you don't get in little nitpick fights over who's going to sit in your seat. Come on. You don't get in nitpick fights over if your name's on a mailer or not. Yeah. Now, here's one right here. You don't get, amen to God, in nitpick fights if your name ain't mentioned. Hallelujah, during the service <coughs> or in the bulletin. Come on. Come on. That's I mean, true. it's ridiculous. Yeah. Amen to God. Yeah, amen. There's no amen to God material love in that. Yeah. It's childish. Yeah. It's time to put away. And you know, Jesus said, come as a little child. But what he means is, 
Come believing as they believe. And but what this is saying right here, put away the childish things. Put away the stuff, amen, that God is going to create havoc, heartache, fights, stuff like that. Praise Amen. God. Well, Brother Mike, you didn't let me pass by the offering plate this week. I'm not going to come back. Ridiculous. Come on. These are the things we need to put away is the childish things. Yeah. And be mature in love. Hallelujah. For now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am also known. Now this is powerful right here. And now by the faith, hope, and charity, or love, these three, but the greatest of these is charity, or love. Amen. You can have faith, you can have hope. Come on. But if you don't have love, yeah. it means nothing. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you tonight, Jesus, amen to God, demonstrated all three of those things. And you can too. Come you on. can have faith, hope, and love. Yeah. Every day. And you should have it. You should have faith in the Lord. You should have hope in His Word. And you should have love one for another. Stand to your feet tonight. I, I don't even keep you long. I mean, you say, Brother Mike, man, you didn't preach an hour? Come on. What I preached and said from the Word tonight is good enough. And that's what I feel the Lord wanted me to bring. What I preached last week on spiritual gifts, praise God, it still had the love factor in it. That without love, praise yeah. God, no matter what you do, that profit is nothing. Amen. So this upcoming week, by the grace of God, if we should see the whole week fully, let's ask the Lord tonight. And I love when Brother Billy says this at the end of each service. He says, go out and be the light in the world you're supposed to be. Amen. But let's ask the Lord this week to help us to demonstrate the love of God in a way that the world has never seen before. Yeah. To, for us to go out there and say, Lord, use me to be that instrument of love to somebody in somebody's life. To speak a word of love to them, praise God. That amen to God, they may not have heard. Yeah. Because I tell you, a kind word to somebody, you don't know who you're affecting. Amen. That person may be on the edge of suicide, may be oh. on the edge of just giving up and saying, hey, I'm done. Yeah. They may be a believer that has been in a battle with the devil, Come on. and your word, or you showing them acts of kindness or love, may be the thing that says, whoa, God is good, yeah. and He's still love. He must love me by what that brother or sister said to me or done for me. Amen? Come on. So let's take this week, amen, and let's just say, Lord, let me demonstrate the love you've shown at the cross. If I have all against my brother or sister, let me forgive them. Yeah. Help me, Lord, not to hold grudges, but to love each other the way you love. Amen. Father, we come before you once again in Jesus' name, and we thank you for this word. God, we ask you, Lord, Father, Lord, just help us to love each other as you love Lord, us. God, Lord, help us to demonstrate this love, Lord, Lord God, in a great, mighty us. way. Forgive us any way where we failed you, Lord. Lord. In Jesus' name, be with us, Lord, as we depart tonight. Guide us safely to our homes. In Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen, amen and Amen. Hallelujah.